we're really excited about the start of the season. Uh, we feel that both teams are going to be much improved from where we've been over the last couple of years. And, and really the reason for that on the men's side is that we've, we've just recruited better. Um, we're going to be very strong up front with the return of Moses Aloy Loy, um, who was our number one runner and, and an all uh, South Central region performer at the end of the season last year. But we've also got a, a very strong addition in Emmanuel Rotic, also from Kenya, who just arrived a couple of weeks ago and, and uh, looks very strong and, and looks like he's going to be able to really push Moses and, and, and for them to work together at the front of our team. It's, it's going to make for an, an exciting season for, for the men. On the women's side, we're going to be led by Emma Newton again, just as we were last year. Uh, unfortunately, her season was cut short last year due to an injury. She's completely healed from that. She's had a great summer of training and she looks as good as new, better than ever really, than, than uh, from, from where she was last, last year. Um, and we've got a very young team, but, but, but they also have at least one year of experience under their belt. Lauren Bartels, Emily Hoy, we've got a senior in Michaela Sonneborn, and we've also got a very strong uh, freshman out of New York um, named Sarah Marvin, who's uh, had a great preseason, and, and she looks like she's going to be able to make an immediate contribution to our team. The, the preseason ranking came out um, just yesterday, and, and our men's team was recognized as uh, being among the top 15. I think it's the first ranking for our men's team in quite a while. Um, over a decade and, uh, and and we appreciate that but I think we're even better than that and so it's nice to get that kind of recognition going into the season I know it's going to be a little bit of a boost you know to their confidence and, and, and spirits going into it but but you know we're certainly not satisfied with that level of, of, uh, of ranking and, and you know we want to we want to perform at a much higher level than that as we go through the season. Moses came in we knew that he was a pretty strong runner but we, we really didn't know that he was going to be as good as he has turned out to be he is an excellent 5,000 10,000 meter runner and really cross country is his forte the other thing about Moses is that he, he's got a great personality he's really likable he's he, he he emerged as our team's leader right away and everybody on the team respects him uh, you know appreciates the effort that he brings every day and he's really done a great job of leading our team. For our women, Emma Newton is, is our, our lead runner. I mean, she, she's our strongest distance runner at this point in time. Um, she has demonstrated that for now a little over a year. Um, the, the nice thing though, in addition to her, is that we finally have uh, you, you know, a senior in Michaela Sonneborn who is very experienced. She's in the best shape of her life. And so far in our first two weeks of practice, she's looked great. So we, we look, we look stronger and deeper than we have been in the past on the women's side. For the men, I, I think that we are capable of being one of the top two or three teams in the American Athletic Conference. Um, on the women's side, we want to be in the top half of, of that conference. And, and if, if we can start there and then move on to the regional meet and have success, then we feel like we're going to really be laying a strong foundation for the future.